In this video, we're going to go over countercurrent multiplication. So far in our discussion on the kidneys, we've been talking about this concentration gradient. That in the cortex of the kidneys, there is a low solute concentration. And as you move deeper into the kidneys, there is an increase in solute concentration. However, we haven't discussed where this solute concentration gradient comes from. And as we're going to see in this video, this concentration gradient is produced by the loop of Henle. The loop of Henle generates the concentration gradient in the kidneys through two processes, the single effect and the flow of fluid. The single effect is referring to this sodium-potassium 2-chloride cotransporter in the thick ascending limb. This cotransporter removes all three ions from the thick ascending limb of the loop of Henle. So essentially, it removes solutes from the renal tubule. To illustrate how these two processes, the single effect and the flow of fluid, can generate the concentration gradient in the kidneys, we're going to look at a number of diagrams. We're going to start with the initial state where there is no concentration gradient in the kidneys. And in this diagram, we have the descending limb where fluid is moving down and the ascending limb where fluid is moving up. You can see that they're drawn differently the thick ascending limb is drawn to be thicker to indicate that it is water impermeable, whereas the descending limb is drawn thinner because it is water permeable. Because the descending limb is water permeable, water will always move in or out of the descending limb to equilibrate with the interstitial fluid, which is just around the renal tubule. So if we're starting with no gradient, then we can just put in some numbers. So let's just say that initially everything has a concentration of 300 as a fairly arbitrary number. Okay, so this is our initial state. At first, there is no concentration gradient. So now we're going to allow the single effect to occur. Again, a single effect is going to remove solutes from the ascending limb of the loop of Henle. So that means we would go from 300 to maybe 200. So all these concentrations are decreasing. Since solutes are being removed from the ascending limb, that means they're going into the interstitial fluids. So the concentration of the fluid around the renal tubule is going to increase. And since the descending limb of the loop of Henle is water permeable, its concentration will always equilibrate to the interstitial fluid. So it will also be 400. Now, as is, we don't see much of a concentration gradient. But remember, it's not just the single effect. The flow of fluid also aids in the production of the concentration gradient. The flow of fluid simply refers to fluid moving through the renal tubule. So fluid's going to enter the descending limb and it's going to exit through the ascending limb. So in this case, let's say a couple of these 200s exit. So we only have two of them left and some of the 400s move over. So now we have a couple 400s and two of these 400s move down. And then we also get some fresh fluids. So the new fluid that enters doesn't have any concentration gradient, so it starts at 300. And again, since the interstitial fluid and the descending limb are always equilibrated with each other, then the interstitial fluid is also going to be 300, 300, 400, 400. And already you can start to see we're forming a slight gradient, lower concentration above higher concentration below. Now, all that happens is this process repeats itself over and over again. So we're gonna have the single effect occur again. So with the single effect, that means we're going to go ahead and remove solutes from the ascending limb. And because the difference in concentrations, there's already some present, perhaps you're not able to remove as much solutes in the first place. So let's say instead of moving out 100, uh, we move out 50. So here we'll have 150, 150, 350, 350. 
So our interstitial fluid is then going to become more concentrated. So we can have 350, 350, 450, 450. And again, the descending limb will equilibrate. So it will also be 350, 350, 450, 450. We're then gonna follow this with the flow of fluid. So let's say one of these fluid molecules leaves. So we have 150, 350, 350. One of these 450s move over. So that leaves us with 450, 350, 350, and a fresh 300 that enters, and the interstitial fluid will equilibrate. So we end up with 300, 350, 350, 450. Now you can see we have more substantial of a concentration gradient as before. And as you can imagine, if you just keep repeating this process, the single effect, the flow of fluid, the single effect, the flow of fluid, then you're going to build up more and more of a concentration gradient. So this is essentially how the loop of Henle generates the concentration gradient in kidneys.